Today, we are going to discuss about a major defilement that we all have in our life. We are going to discuss about how to deal with this defilement, how we can stop this defilement, how we can remove this defilement from our life. This defilement is the jealousy. So, jealousy is one of the major problems we face in our life, when we are dealing with people, when we see successful people in our life, when we see people are living happy, when we see the successful people sometimes we feel jealousy about them, right? So, what is the major cause of this jealousy? The major cause of jealousy is the selfishness. Selfishness means the quality of being self-centered, the condition of putting one's own interests before those of others. In this anxiety, we live in a society where most of the people live only for their own interests. They always ask, what can others do for me? What can government do for me? We always try to ask but we hardly give to others. So, the more we practice selfishness, the more we think selfish thoughts. We become more and more selfish in this world. When we become more selfish, we feel jealousy about others when we see people are living happy lives when we see people have a successful life we become jealousy, we hate them, we become angry about them. So, this is a major problem that we all face in our life. So, do you know how to stop and deal with this jealousness? Well our great teacher Supreme Buddha taught us a wonderful way to stop and eliminate this jealousness from our mind. And that special technique is known as mudita. Mudita means being happy by seeing others' success that is called appreciative joyfulness. If you can be happy by seeing others' success, if you can smile when others are living a happy life, then you are practicing this special quality of appreciative joyfulness. Remember, by being jealousy, by practicing the jealousy on someone, we cannot gain anything good for our life. There's nothing good that we can gain to our life by merely being jealousy on someone, right? Sometimes, we may think that by being jealousy we become successful. That's not true. Day by day, day by day we will deteriorate our special good qualities if we are practicing jealousness. So, what we have to do is to practice appreciative joyfulness. When you see successful people in this world, you have to be happy for them. You can wish them good life and well-being from your mind, from the deepest place from your heart, right? You have to be honest to yourself and you can wish others a happy life and well-being and prosperity. The more you practice this mudita or the appreciative joy for us, little by little the jealous in us will fade away from our mind and there will be a one day when you will see successful people, living happy life, you will feel happy for them even if you are living a hard times, you are going through a lot in your life, the best thing you can do is to be happy for them. Then you can generate the thoughts of mudita, then you can live happily and then you can live freely in this society because when we feel jealousy we feel uncomfortable right, we feel irritated and frustrated. So, don't make yourself frustrated. What you have to do is that always practice this mudita. Start your day by practicing mudita when you get up in the morning you can wish for all people that may all people be developed with happiness, comfortability and joyfulness in their life. When you practice and when you generate these thoughts, your mind will be calm, your mind will be happy and your mind will be free. That is why our great teacher Supreme Buddha taught us that we should practice mudita to eliminate the jealousness from our mind. Mudita is the antidote for the jealousiness so when you are living your life practice the mudita the appreciative joyfulness if you practice this you can live a happy and free life.